guys, my name is Nika. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. On this channel, we're talking about all things finance and all things beauty because we're multifaceted human beings and we're very vested in both. <sighs> okay, so in today's video, we are talking about personal finance. In particular, what the fuck is a 401k? So, I have done a shit ton of research about 401ks because what the fuck is it? Everyone's talking about it. You get hired at any company and they're like, here are all of our fancy benefits and our 401k vesting and our percentage match and our profit sharing and just all these financial terms that like I really didn't understand. So, I did a lot of research. I read a book. Then I read another one and another one and another one until I felt super confident and super comfortable to make my own decisions when it came to investing. And that's essentially what a 401k is. So a 401k is investing in your retirement. The name essentially comes from the internal revenue code that allows employers to give their employees retirement accounts. So essentially, if you're working for a huge corporation and you're a full-time salary employee, this should be a benefit that is available to you. If you are working a part-time job or if you're in a contract role or if you're just, you know, on an hourly sal salary, this may not be uh, offered for you by your company, but never fear, there are other options to save for your retirement account. I will link that video up here. To be completely honest, I haven't made that video yet, but once I do, it will be here. You can find out more about those. Those are called IRA accounts, and there's many different types, and it's a whole nother video. But for this video, sorry, that is my cat. He gets very active when I start making these videos. But for this video, we are talking about 401ks. So essentially what a 401k is, is an investment account your company sponsors. So they use them as a tool to be really competitive with other companies. So for example, if you are making $100,000, your company may offer to match 6% of your investment of your salary into your 401k so that would mean for every one percent you invest your company will also match one percent of your salary up into that six percent and so that is what's most commonly done and it makes it really advantageous for employees because it's essentially free money like if you're not investing you're missing six percent of free money that your company is willing to offer you for free so it's a no-brainer you have to do it it's free um there's also a catch usually and this is a way companies are able to retain employees it's called a vesting schedule so they what a vesting schedule is is essentially they will match that you know six percent for example but they will only allow you to walk away with it once it's a hundred percent vested which usually comes in a period of years so maybe your first year it's 25% vested, your second year is 50% vested, your third year it's 75% vested, and then after you have spent four years at the company, all that f beautiful free 401k money is 100% vested and it's completely yours if you ever leave the company. But you definitely, definitely, definitely need to check out. I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. <sighs> Say hi to the people. Say hi. Say hello. Hello, people. Say hi. I love you. I'm not gonna kiss you because I have lipstick on. Okay. What are we talking about? Vesting schedules. So yes, 
after you've been in a company for four years, you may be able to walk away with 100% of that money that you put in your IRA account vested, which is ideal. So a lot of people will start working at companies but won't leave until, you know, that two, three year, whatever their personal vesting schedule is, in order to make sure they're not leaving any money on the table. And so every company is different. When you get hired at a new company or if you're working at a company right now and you know you have a 401k benefit but you're not exactly sure of the terms, make sure you walk downstairs, you know, knock on your H... Knock, 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 knock. Knock on your HR department's door and say, hey, like, I have questions about my benefits. That's essentially their job. They're supposed to make sure that you have the knowledge and you feel comfortable uh, kind of speaking to what your own unique company's uh 401k benefit is so it can come in profit sharing meaning that you know for example you may not have that percentage match but they may give you a one percent uh of whatever profits they make in a year you can have matching so typically companies will match 50 percent of like your six percent or a hundred percent of your first six percent i say six percent that's a random number that i've made up but every company is different so just make sure you, you kind of know your details, know your numbers, number one rule in personal finance. Um, and then lastly, you know, that vesting period. So some companies have no vesting period. Some companies, uh, as soon as you start matching in your 401k, you're able to walk away at any point in time with all that money. Other companies use it as a tool for retention. So, you know, after two years, maybe you only get 50% or after four years, you get 100% or maybe after two years, you do get 100%, but you, you just have to ask the question and you have to find out for yourself. One of the biggest benefits of having a 401k is tax. You don't have to pay taxes on money that you're putting into your 401k, which if you're saving a lot of money could potentially put you in a lower tax bracket and save you money on taxes. You only pay, um, you only pay taxes on money once you take it out of your 401k. And typically, you're not supposed to do that until you're 65 plus. If you do do that before you turn 65, then you have to pay a penalty, which nine times out of 10 is not worth it. So please invest in a 401k. It's a retirement plan. Save that money. Don't think about it. Just don't, don't do it. Honestly, a rule of thumb is to save between five and 10%, uh, depending on what you can afford in your IRA account, in your 401k account. Um, and yeah, so if you have any other questions, let me know. Feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe for more personal finance tips and also beauty and makeup tips if you guys are into that. Is it an overlapping audience? I'm not sure, but it overlaps in me. So hopefully it overlaps in you too. Anyway, my name is Nika. I will see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and yeah, love you guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.